out in January. I know we've been gone for a while, but that's because Biscay got in a bit of an accident and we will tell you about the story all later. So, we are back out here. Um, Biscuit's never been to Alsea Falls, so we're gonna be back out here, go to the spooky spot, maybe a different spot, um, but we are trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to start raining at 10 a.m. and it is now 9 a.m. so hopefully we can get a spot and set up the tent before it starts pouring rain. It's supposed to pour all day but the last time I checked the weather before I lost service was maybe three to four hours of rain so we will see. I'm excited. We're excited. So Biscuit needs to be outside. She's gonna love it and I'm gonna love it and you're gonna love it. So let's get going. Well we had about 10 more minutes and it started raining early. I checked it twice. It's at 10 a.m. but I guess you can never trust the weather channel so it's raining and we'll get through it. Well, we're at the spooky spot and we did look at a couple different other spots but they were just too muddy right now and they didn't look as good so we're gonna be here at spooky spot and let biscuit free she's never been here so that should be fun for her and it looks like all the garbage that we picked up with cody here that they actually did come and pick up all that garbage so that's cool and it doesn't look trashed all the other spots were trashed so it's kind of nice to see. So I'm going to set up the tent real quick. Hopefully before it starts raining. It was sprinkling there. It started getting me worried. But um, yeah, we got about 30 minutes. I think we could do it. So let's get rocking. That took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get everything set up, but let me show you around. I'm sorry I didn't bring you out of the car, but I was worried it was going to rain and I didn't want my phone out in the rain. So I just wanted to get it done as fast as possible. So let me show you what the setup is like. Okay, we got the beautiful tent. Um, unfortunately, we forgot the heat mat. 
and I did not want to, it to warp the tarp. So we had to do half and half, which I haven't done before, but hopefully it works. Got the wood, the buddy heater, biscuits bed, my bed, and some junk. <coughs> Got the water, but I'm hoping that the stove won't uh, hurt this, but I don't think it will. I think it's just far enough away, so I think we're good there. Strapped it down real good, just in case it gets windy tonight, but it might, it might not. And then we got the cover. I just thought of this, but now we can walk in and out of the tent without getting wet since it is a pyramid, but that should work out real good. We'll walk around. It's all tied up, looking good. There's our exit, looking good. There's Biscuit, eating a stick. Are you eating a stick? Are you eating a stick? Yeah. Be a good girl. Yeah, get that stick. Get that stick. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, now that we're all set up and we took a view of the camp, what I think we're going to do is go for a hike. We're going to go take Biscuit where we took Cody the last time. And we're not going to do the big one to the waterfall just yet. We're just going to do the loop. And that should take about an hour. So we're going to go do that. And hopefully when we get back, we'll be hungry to eat some dinner. Lunch. It's only 11 a.m. And that's weird to me, because right now I'm getting out of bed <laughs> to go camping, so. I'm glad I got out here early, and yeah, we'll make the most of it. We're going to go on a hike. All right, see you down there.
Let's try to start a fire. Hopefully we have some success. We might. There's a beam of water almost hitting my phone. So I want to move you a little out of the way. There you go. Very good. <laughs> like a biscuit. Hey, cutie. haven't been camping in the last two and a half months ish so it was the day before Halloween and I was decorating and I was like oh we got to take biscuit to the dog park get our energy out meet up friends and then we'll finish decorating and get ready for Halloween so we go to the dog park none of her friends were there but there was a dog in there and it was a pit bull. And I haven't had any bad experiences at the dog park so far, up to this point. So I was like, okay, sure, this guy has somebody to play with. And the girl is walking the perimeter of the dog park, which is fine, people do that. But <clears throat> when Biscuit came up, the dog got all like stiff and like the tail went boom. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Like, it's just greeting, or it, it was a puppy pit bull. And then the woman leashed her dog. So I was like, oh, <coughs> maybe she's working on training. Because, I don't know, working on commands or something at the dog park, which is normal. So Biscuit comes back to me, and we start playing and playing, and then she lets the pit bull off the leash. That's fine, but then Biscuit goes up to the owner, and then the pit bull attacks Biscuit. It was terrifying. Um, sorry. I ran up to Biscuit, and I couldn't get the pit bull off, so I ended up having to choke the pit bull. Like, put it in a chokehold and, like, choke it till it kind of passed out for, like, a second. And then it released Biscuit. The owner was just like standing there. She's like, she didn't help at all. She didn't know what was going on. And the pit bull had a tag of her neck. Pit bulls, 
Biscuit's all freaking out and whining and crying. That's not good. I see blood and I leave immediately. Don't ask me why I didn't ask for her name or information at that time. I just wanted to get out of there and look at, take care of Biscuit. So I drive and I drive home. I ask my parents what I should do. I couldn't see anything really because of her fur. It's so thick. But I ended up deciding to take her to the emergency vet and Biscuit ended up having surgery. Um, it was pretty intense time. <laughs> um, she had to stay overnight. The doctor said she could see Biscuit's esophagus and the vein. No muscle. So like the pit bull tore all the muscles around her esophagus and the one vein. That was super important. So Biscuit almost died. <laughs> And, but she didn't, so that was good. So they did reconstruction surgery, all, like, tighter muscles all back together. And, so she was in recovery for about four weeks until she ended up getting her stitches out. And I did track the owner. I ended up having my dash cam running when I drove away and I got her license plate, I contacted the police. The police tracked her down and turned out that when I called the lady who was the owner of the pit bull, she was not the one who was who had brought the dog to the dog park. She was her younger sister. And she had specific instructions. <laughs> if a dog shows up to the dog park, you have to leave. Because her dog is dangerous and will attack dogs. I couldn't believe it when I heard this news. I couldn't believe. She told me straight up, yeah, my dog's dangerous and doesn't like dogs. And I'm like, what the F are you doing at a dog park? Oh, I was so mad. So mad. And apparently the sister told the family that Biscuit jumped the fence and started attacking her. So her pit bull had to attack biscuit for self-defense and I was like is this lady high like that is definitely not what happened <laughs> the biscuit jumping a fence come on she ain't doing that shit <laughs> it was crazy but the owner took full responsibility she really didn't want her pit bull to be taken away by the police but I fully contacted animal control and the police and I tried to get charges against her dog to be deemed a dangerous dog. So, not to be euthanized, but if it does attack somebody or another dog, that it will be euthanized. But the police and animal control did not want to hear it. They're like, it's an at your own risk dog park, but technically it's just to keep people from suing the city at your own risk. I mean, Biscuit was attacked by another person, you know, and she clearly said her dog was dangerous. Like, nothing. Nothing, because it happened at a dog park. That made me so mad. But I never told the lady that. She, I was just threatening her <laughs> so she would pay the vet bill. It was $2,000. Like, up front, they're like, okay, we can do this, but you have to pay all of it right now before we can start. And I was like, uh-oh. So I had to call my mom. Thank you, mom. <laughs> so that was rough. Biscuit had her whole neck shaved. And she was a little rock star there. Little punk rock rock star. <laughs> and that's why we couldn't come out here for another month and tell her fur grew back a little bit or else she'd be too cold to be out here. She needed that under coat to grow back. It's still not all the way grown back, but it's getting there and it's pretty developed, so that's why we've been gone for so long. Because of Biscuit. <laughs> and it was my fault. You know, Pipple owner was the exact what do you call that? Uh, cliche, cliche, uh, what you think of pit bulls? Exactly. A shit owner with a shit dog and 
I couldn't believe it. It was terrible. If you want to see pictures, there are pictures. Biscuit, when she first got attacked, Biscuit with her bandages. And I actually went onto this lady's Facebook page and found pictures of her dog. And the dog looks so aggressive. And she, it was under a year old. Or just a year. I mean, still, just a puppy. And it caused this much damage and it was this aggressive. I'm just... I hate that dog. I hate it so much. Like, that dog is definitely going to attack somebody or another dog. And it's terrible pet ownership. But she did end up paying the whole bill back. It took a little bit, but she ended up paying it all back. Which is good. And it just irritates me that that had happened. So, yes. Give Biscuit lots of loves, treats, back out here in the woods. I got her a spiked collar for when we're out here or on walks. Not for the dog park, though. But it's a little too big and it slips off of her, so I have to adjust it so we can actually use it. But it's a legit spiked collar. It's sharp. So, to protect her neck. She plays pretty hard at the dog park, so I'm not sure. I try to be wearful of dogs who are, like, just playing around the neck area because I don't want her to tear anything because it is a deep wound. So, we're just careful around the neck area. But her mood didn't... Her mood didn't damper or anything after her recovery. Um, she wanted to go straight back to the dog park. She wanted to play. She wasn't scared of any more dogs or anything. But when she does hear a dog fight, she's like, goodbye. <laughs> Which is nice. I don't want her involved in those little scruffles. But yeah, that's the story. So I hope you understand why we haven't been out here. Oh, and I got a new job. I, that new job that I got is very, very good. And I like it very much, but it's very time consuming because I live, I have to drive 50 miles to work and 50 miles back. So it takes up a lot of my time. So I'm hoping to move soon, move closer to work, give me some more free time, get out camping more. So that's the goal for 2023 is move. That's basically it. Earn money, you know, need money. Yeah. Oh, get a new car. I don't think that'll be this year, but can't always take the Yaris out. So, yeah, those are the goals. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cook. I'm not actually drinking until St. Patrick's Day because I was kind of drinking a little too much. So we just got fizzies for a step two, just sparkling water. So that's what I'll be drinking. But we're going to make this creamy tomato chicken, not quite a soup, not quite a sauce. Maybe it's a soup. We'll call it soup. Creamy chicken soup. Something. I don't know. We're winging it, kind of. But I got all the ingredients. And I'm going to start cooking that right now. <laughs> Get that going, because it can take some time. And we got here so early, I don't have to do it at night. And, like, put my dishes in the car and the food in the car before it gets dark. That'd be so awesome. Yeah. Oh. And I might go to bed a little early today because I am kind of tired. And I sleep like 12 hours on my weekends because I don't sleep during the weekday because of work. <laughs> so we're going to get lots of food, lots of sleep. We did go on that little hike today. It was only like 0.8 miles. The prices went up. 
Last time we were here was $3 per day to park down there. Now it's $5 per day. So that sucks. But we paid $10 because I didn't have change. So tomorrow we're going to go on a one, about two mile hike tomorrow. Not to the falls, but we're going to do something new tomorrow. So I'm not quite sure if we're going to pack up, then go for the hike, or go for the hike and then pack up. Kind of depends. So, it's good that we're getting dinner done now, so we can sleep in. Biscuit looks tired. I'm glad she's sleeping and laid down out of the rain. <laughs> she's goofy. Alright, well... Let's start on dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna let dinner perk on the stove until it gets nice and melty and juicy and I'll bring you back. But I'm gonna pick up dinner and get warm and 
I don't know, do some. I don't know. I'll bring it back. Bye. for me. Oh, yeah. Soup in a cup. Let's say. <laughs> It tastes great. Creamy, rich, tomatoey, all the good stuff. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the chicken. I tried it first with shrimp, and shrimp kind of just felt like this. Just not the right kind of meat. I think next I'll make it with kebabs. Yeah, kind of sausage, kind of fried sausage. That might do it. That sounds delicious. I'll try that next. But it honest it all together tastes like lasagna. So it's like lasagna in a cup without no noodles. I'm on a keto diet, so um this is actually pretty nice. I know I eat a lot of junk food when I go camping and I drink beer and I Make a lot of pancakes and all that fun stuff, but I'm gonna stick it out till St. Patrick's Day, and then and then we can party. <laughs> but yeah, this tastes great. Um, this cup is probably gonna be enough for me, so I'll save the rest for a snack or tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow. Probably when I get home tomorrow. But I wanna make breakfast so yeah yeah tastes good I think biscuit likes it too she got a hold of the spoon that sneaky little girl anyway I'm gonna finish eating this I'm watching you and then And then, um, we'll do something else. Yeah, okay. I'm going to finish eating that, and I'll see you later. She wants to go play in the woods.
we made it inside the tent and Biscuit's asleep and I'm gonna be asleep. It's nice and toasty in here and I think it's gonna be a good night. It's only like 6 p.m. but I'm tired. So have a good night and I'll see you in the morning. Bye! We had a very good night. I slept so much, I think like 12 hours, so that was good. I don't think Biscuit slept very good. The rain made it hard for her to hear, so she had to keep getting up and going outside to check out what was going on. We only heard one loud car go by. Yeah, and she was a little antsy right then. But that no, was a good night. Yeah. Um, I think she popped my air mattress or my air pad something. Whatever it's called. I think she popped it yesterday when she jumped on it. So that's not cool. <laughs> but still, very good. Very good night. The stove. Um, the stove this trip, amazing. I have never had to fight it less. Um, but I did go through a lot of wood, so that was the downside. I have enough for breakfast. <laughs> it didn't last all night. I fell asleep and couldn't put more in, so maybe I'm starting to figure it out. So that's cool. I'm actually pretty excited. Thank God. <laughs> so, but the, the flu... I think that's what you call it. Um, I think there's a lot of soot in there. So we're definitely going to have to clean it out before we pack it up. But right now I'm going to cook breakfast. I'm going to go try to make an omelet. But we will see how that goes. It just might be scrambled eggs. We'll see. But <sighs> Biscuit's already having her breakfast. She likes to eat at night, but I can have food out at night, so she's eating now. She's a good girl. Alright, let's start cooking breakfast. coffee. I'm not. I brought cold coffee. <laughs> That's what we're gonna drink. Iced coffee is my favorite. So I thought, let's bring it today. <laughs> I know I usually make it, but...
like my cutting skills. this is going to be an omelet. I think it's going to be scrambled eggs because there's too many vegetables for the eggs I brought. So that's okay. We all eat it the same anyway. But I got tomatoes, bacon, green peppers, and garlic. And then I'm going to add eggs and cream. So I don't have any salt. Yeah. Huh. I used it all last night. I wasn't supposed to, but I did. That's okay. There's salt and bacon. Ooh, I could throw some butter in there. I got some salted butter. You could do that. I'm gonna drain this bacon grease somehow. going to be able to make an omelet, but I need a lid. But I have a lid, but I have to go get it. Make sure Biscuit doesn't eat my food. Thank you. <laughs> singed one of my hairs. <sighs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing is heating up the lid because it's too cold. So. We'll get that heated up. out there. Almost out of fire, but 
but I don't think I'll add more wood. Because I need time for the stove to cool down so I can clean it, pack it. Yeah. I think the cast irons have enough heat that it should cook the eggs. Yeah, eggs are easy to cook. So we won't put any more wood in. Heat up that. What are you doing? <laughs> She's so sneaky. Look at her. You being sneaky? You being cute? That's what you're being. You being cute. <laughs> All right, I think it's finally time. Get a nice good stir again. All right. Oh, this might not be enough. Now we wait for breakfast. You know, I forgot <clears throat> things I needed. Well, obviously I didn't need them because I'm doing just fine. But the things I forgot is my to uh, pipe wrap the, I don't know what you call it, fiberglass, probably, something, so it doesn't heat up the tent too bad, but this is the first time I actually didn't use it, and the tent is just fine. I don't think I need it. <laughs> it was just extra precaution not to ruin my tent, but um, the only thing is that I made the hole to accommodate the wrap so there's some space in between the tent and the pole so I don't know I have it I might just keep using it but it's not necessary who knew um the other thing is is the heat mat so this half tarp uh didn't have to happen but because I think the stove would definitely warp the tarp it's just plastic so um, but it's working now. <clears throat> I'm creating a mess like always with dinner and breakfast, so uh, I don't have to wash the mat. So that's nice, but it is a little inconvenient being half tarp, half not tarp. Obviously I didn't set it up that way. If I was planning on doing it with biscuit, <clears throat> if it wasn't so wet, I would. But she, I set, I showed you me setting up her cot, but she's just not that type of pup, and I thought if it was really going to rain, at least she'd be off the ground, but the tarp helped, I just laid down a couple blankets and she was good to go. And she has her bed, so that's why it, we still need the tarp, so for Biscuit, and uh, for me too, you know, um my bedding hit the ground it wouldn't get wet so that's always nice but it worked out yeah yeah and I did buy firewood but I also bought this <laughs> premium kindling and I was looking at it I was like who needs to buy this I don't need to buy this but then I was thinking well with the stove Maybe I can, it can be helpful. It's like $5 for kindling. Ugh. Make myself sick buying this. But honestly, 
it's, I think it's like cedar maybe. And it's so dry. All you have to do is just hold the lighter up to it and it'll go. So, super dry, super helpful. So, we're just going to keep that as long as we can. But we'll only break it out when we get the stove out. Because only a couple sticks uh, are needed when to ignite the stove. So, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think what we're going to do today is I'm going to pack up, I'm probably going to pack up the bedding and some random other stuff, but leave most of it. And then we're going to go on our hike and then we can come back and finish. But I didn't want to pack everything up in case the sun comes out. So I can dry out my tent and my tarp. So we'll give that a try, a chance. It's supposed to be overcast today. But the, the trees aren't helping with drying out the tent. Because they're just sprinkling water on them. So, but we'll give it a chance. Plus in case I fall in a puddle or something or get all muddy. I can come back and change <laughs> before we drive home. So. Yeah, this hike is two miles, but no, yeah, just about, maybe plus or minus two miles, but it, instead of going the way we went yesterday, we're going up the mountain, across, and then down, and then yesterday we just went across, so they say there's some switchbacks, so it looks like it's going to be pretty steep, but hopefully not too muddy. The trail yesterday was pretty nice. The only thing else we could encounter is trees falling across the trail. Um, it looks like here, Alcee got a pretty heavy windstorm or the little itty bitty ice storm we had created some trouble. So we might encounter some trail stuff. Or it could be washed out. I don't know because it's so steep. But we'll see. We'll check it out. I mean, we go forward. We can always go backwards. So we'll check that out. It's called the Sidewinder Big Fur Trail, <laughs> I think. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it's called. We can look at a map. But we're definitely going on a hike because we paid $10 yesterday. So definitely going to use that last $5. Let's check on my omelet. Cooking away. That's what it's doing. It's just... I got garlic in my hair. <sighs> She's eating eggshells. Which is fine. She can eat those. She's so cute. I'm glad we finally got back out here. I know for her it's been a while. October. Yeah, October. <clears throat> was the last trip we took out at the rock quarry. But. I mean, for her little brain, she's still young. It could be forever. <laughs> This is hmm. I can't remember nope. I was gonna say this might be her first time in this tent, but her very first camping trip when she was only when I only had her for less than a week we went camping. It was in this tent. And that girl had such a hard time. Um, I don't think I told you guys this, but she was attacked by another dog less than a week when I had her over food, and oh my god, it was so stressful, but her injuries definitely weren't as bad as the pit bull attack, so 
we toughed through it and she ended up getting better and better every day and so we didn't go to a vet but she she made it out okay yeah but that was her <laughs> her first week with me and I bet she didn't have a very good opinion of me <laughs> so she's had a little rough but everything's making her stronger hopefully um yeah but she's doing good yes she is we're almost ready to flip I think I'm not going to fold it I'm just going to pancake it and that should work but I think if I do it right now, it's not quite there. Few more minutes. Dang. Cold. Mm. It's pretty good weather, though, for January. It has not snowed yet. I mean... There has been snow, and there has been ice, but it hasn't really snowed. Usually we get one good snowfall for the year, and I haven't really seen that. Usually it's February, so maybe when that happens, well, okay, it's kind of hard to do that in the Yaris. Um... We have chains and we have shovels and but she's not almighty so I was afraid coming up here that there might be snow but no good here oh the fire is going out um there's just a problem of finding a campsite close enough to home and we don't have to drive five hours for somewhere the Yaris can go if there's snow. So we might have to borrow the Jeep. Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> I can tell the fire is going out because a bunch of soot lands on the, on the tent. So it's almost out, which is fine, which is good. But my goal this year, not only to lose weight because I'm a fatty, but to go camping every month. I was trying to do that last year, but I ended up missing a month in August or September, and then obviously November and December. So, not bad for my first year, but this year, let's try to get every month. At least, at least once a month. My goal is really twice a week, but, or twice a week, oh my god. But, uh, every other week. Twice a month. There we go. <clears throat> but, obviously, we're off to a bad start in January, so once a month. Yeah. I need to go somewhere where I can bicycle with Biscuit so she could get used to the bicycle so we can go bike packing. Get a little trailer for her. My friend and I want to do the coast trip from Astoria to, I don't know, California somewhere. But, um, what am I going to do with Biscuit? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if she's behaved enough to go on a trailer and I just push through it, which is a little tough but she does add weight <laughs> or I have to have someone watch her but those aren't easy tasks plus all the dog food and stuff I know people do it but I don't know She's chewing on a stick. Okay, let's check this again. 
This guy probably thinks I'm a little crazy talking to myself so much. Because I don't really do that at home. <laughs> oh, yes. I think we have to flip it because she's almost done and I want this side to be cooked. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's tearing. Oh! That almost worked perfectly. I think when we take it out onto the plate, that it might be not quite a pancake. Okay, open up the fire. Let's get all that wood burnt out of there so it cools down. Ooh. Now nah, this might fill me up. I was gonna say when we get back from hiking, I brought sausages just in case I was hungry in between the two meals. And I was like, oh, but I don't wanna Heat up the stove again. I could just do it in the fireplace. Maybe use up all the rest of my wood. I think that's a great idea. Mm -mm -mm, great idea. Yeah. That will work. This is the first time Biscuit's been around the stove, and she did not burn herself. I am so proud of her. She understood, which was great. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. So, now she knows. I am ready. Oh, it's ready too. Ooh. Oh, let's scrape the bottom real quick. There you go. Omelette pancake. The cheese is on the other side, but looks good. That worked out. I'm glad. Mm. I need cheese right there. <laughs> you get the leftovers. Out of the kitchen. Oh, because the stove's going out. That's why I'm getting colder. That's why. Somebody's using a chainsaw not far from us. Probably clearing up the road a little bit. Or just getting firewood out on it. Also, before I leave, I wanted to gather there's some trash. So I told you that I picked up, well, you even saw that all the trash that I picked up last time I was here. And I was looking around and seeing if there was any new trash, and there is. 
four tires on rims. Who dumps four tires? Like, what did they drag out here, dump the tires, and then drag out of here? I mean, like, I don't know. That's freaking weird. So I'm going to stack the tires up here. So in case whoever picked up the last load can pick up my tires. Or not my tires. The tires I picked up. They just toss them in the woods. Like, why? Why come out here and dump four tires? I don't understand. It's weird. Weird. Anyways. Just four tires. We can roll them up here. No, I'm not going to take them home because I don't have any room for them. And I don't know where to dump them. So, not at a camp spot. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, this is hot. Okay. I know I've been talking forever. And what I'm going to do is eat this, pick up, and I'll probably see you when we're ready to go on a, our hike. Which could probably be in an hour. So, I'll bring you back at the trail. Yeah. Alright. Look at my food. Yeah. Bye. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. No, not the feet. Wait. She keeps eating my feet. What are you eating my feet? Ah! Yeah. Ah! What? Oi, oi. Put it. Look in them feet. Well, we're getting there. Just a couple more things. <sighs> I'm almost debating on packing the tent up while we're here. It's so nice. I don't want it to rain on me later. So we'll see. If you're wondering what this is, it's a GPS tracker. Um, I bought it. It was very expensive. No Bluetooth, no... Or, yes, Bluetooth. But no service is needed and no subscription. That's why it was so expensive. Gives me a radar of where she is, and it works pretty well. She just ran off, and I was a little bit scared, so I put it on her. <laughs> I thought the battery was low, that's why I haven't had her on it. But apparently it's good, so she's going to be on it now. I think she's drawn to the chainsaw noise so that's why I think she ran off and she has a little collection of toys over there <laughs> oh, she wants me to play with her or not she runs away
Yeah, I think we're gonna take down the tent. No. It's good. Fossil alarm, I thought someone was coming up our little road. They just drove by. Okay, before we take off, I want to show you the tires. Not those tires. These ones. <laughs> so this is all the trash that I found. Which isn't a lot, but it is a lot. And it was all the way down there. Whoever camped down there. Love tires. <laughs> it's so weird. So I'll leave the tires there. And hopefully someone will come and pick them up. Like they did with the other trash. So, that's good. Isn't that good? Yeah? You ready to go for a hike? We're gonna go for a hike. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's go for a hike. Come on. You gotta leave the tires. Come on. Come here. Come here. Biscuit, come here. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Do you not know what hike is? I know you'd like it. Yes, you will. Good old hike. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Obviously, that wasn't like that yesterday. But we're going on this big one right here. Yep. And people are still putting money in there. Still money. Hmm. That's kind of crazy. Should probably call somebody. Alright, let's go. Jump it! Jump it! You can do it! Come on! Girl, come on. That's where we went yesterday, but today we want to go here. Sounds like there's people right there. Oh god, biscuit, where'd you go? Biscuit, oh, you're way up there. <laughs> Dang, this is a steep trail. Yes, it is. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> yeah, let her run that energy out. Yeah, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good girl. Woo. Not going down that far. Let's keep on rocking. Come on. This trail is called Big Fur, and I was wondering if I was going to see any big furs. And then I get to the top of the hill, and we're going to start seeing some big furs. Yeah, big guys. Woo! Yeah. 
Yeah. Some big furs. Unlike her, she has a bigger fur. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I think we're almost to the top. That was a really steep trail. Yeah. Looking cool. We press on. We got to the top. I did not know that there was going to be a road up here. I'm pretty sure we go that way. Pretty sure. 100%. Yep. We'll find out though. In a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Little biscuits having so much fun. Alright. We're right though. I think it's this way. Yep. The sign says trail, but there is no trail. <laughs> I'm gonna hike up just a little bit further and see. That's just a marker. I don't know. There might be a trail down there, but just to be safe, I'm gonna hike up a little bit more and see if there's like a distinguished trail. And if all else fails, I'll double check on Biscuit's GPS. I think that should work. So, I'm gonna keep trucking just a little bit longer. Okay, I think I figured it out. These trail markers are just saying that we're on the trail. <laughs> that makes more sense. Hey look, the sun! The sun! So, we're gonna keep trucking until the sign says go down. I thought that was too soon to turn. I'm glad we kept going. We're walking down the trail, having so much fun. And my face is really red, because <laughs> that was a steep hike up. But now we're going downhill, so. Oh, I see the turnoff. Perhaps it is correct. We'll have to see. I don't know where this road goes. How you get up here? It's kind of pretty up here, so. Oh, and while I got gotcha, you, that uh, pay station was definitely broken into last night and I couldn't believe people were still putting money in there. So we did waste $10 because someone stole it. <laughs> someone stole our $10. Uh, now this trail's probably going to be closed or something. I don't know. But that's so stupid. They, it must have took them so long to get in that box. I wonder how many other ones they got. But yeah, that kind of the stupid one I saw. I've never seen that one before. Overnight. Pay. Normal. Come back the next day. Not normal. Oh. Hey, look. It's the trail. That way. Yeah. See it? Somewhere? Yeah. Trail. Biscuits on it. Woo! I was wondering if people biked on it, but you can't. So, and down we go. It's going to be lots of fun. Okay, bye. All right, we just came down from the mountain. I think the top is like somewhere up there. So we went all the way down. Now, we can go that way. Or we can go that way. I think we have to go that way. Back to the car, but look at this forest. It's like swampland or something. See, it's all mossy. Looks kind of crazy. Hmm. Huh, biscuit. She had fun. Now we gotta go back to the car. This way. Freaking slippery. Jeez, it's like ice. <laughs> Whoa, man. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> hey, look, there's the river. 
Dang, biscuit's not slipping. Shoot. This is slippery. Oh my god. Hey, look. Water. We made it back to the car. Yay. It was a little bit of a hike, but we did very well. This kid, she's getting better every day, I swear. It is good. I think she's a little tired, or she's grumpy that we're back in the car. I don't know. But this is the end of the show. So we're gonna head home now. And I'll see you guys next time. Probably February, sorry. Yep. Wait, I forgot to say something. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Yeah, it means so much to us. And like always, if you have a comment, please leave a comment. Like it, subscribe it, share it, or just watch it. That's all good. So, now I'll see ya. Bye. She's ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. You're gonna buckle in?